Congratulations if you've made some money off of Tesla today. The stock is up 2.92%. Tesla is also up. I just talked about that in my latest Gap and Go trades. Check out that video. Right now, I'm going to talk about Sundial. We ended the day at $1.97, up 13.87%. The day's low, $1.71. The day's high, $1.99. This is where we ended. To the north side takes us back to the middle of the trend and resistance at $2. Above that at two standard deviations and another potential take profit area and resistance as well to 11 to 17 and 223. I do not anticipate the price to get to this level in one day from where we are, but if it does, you better lock in and leave because there will be a pullback. You can bet on it. Now, to the south side. 188, 182, and 177. This is technical analysis. And I'm just giving you the price targets as I see it on this chart. And looking left, you can see that we've been basing right here, kind of in a range. But down here, support. What happens at support? People buy the dip. What happened? It ripped all the way back up to resistance and then a sell-off back at support. When we are down here, we go back up. That's a point where people take their profits back down here, a buy-in area. This turns to support on the way down. And this, as you can see, the middle of the trend in this case became support as well, and you saw the bounce off of that. I was in bed when this stock triggered. It hit my price target. I had set this the night before at four standard deviations. But look at this, because the calculations change every single minute or every five minutes, depending upon what time frame you're playing. Well, this ended up becoming back at two standard deviations. So I sold out at 190, oops, that's wrong, 192. So I'm up 40% because I bought in at 137. I've already sold out of this position at 135, I also bought in at 137, I bought in at 149 and 159. But I did not set my outs for this line or that line just yet. And I will do that maybe later this evening. So uh, as you can see, I traded that for a 20% return. I've done this multiple times for sundial. Oops, sundial. This is a dangerous stock. It tanked, it's a meme stock, it's whipped us around. The high, let me, I'll show you the daily in just a moment, but ignore all the horizontal lines. Those are previous support and resistance. I could go back through them and clean it up, and maybe one day I will, but since it's my chart, I like to see where I've marked out key levels. And we were going down and now we are correcting ourselves and going upward. Now, taking a look at the daily, I'll give you some ranges for the daily. You can see we are at the upper channel between two and three. If we get to three, that will take us to 205. That's one price target. And then above that, 226. But as you can see on the daily, we are still going down. We are in a downward channel on the daily. If you flip it to different time frames, it will give you different buy and sell signals. Now, do they give us a one year price target? 363, which represents an 84% return on your money. Don't expect this to be easy. You're going to get whipped around and thrown and thrashed about to get to this level. And that's why it's kind of a fun swing trade. But if you don't like risk, don't do it. Go for something that's possibly in the Vanguard Total Stock Market Index Fund, which I track right here. I've tracked, I think, over 200 stocks right here that I can play all day long that I feel a little more comfortable investing, for instance, my mom's money in it, which I do. I only typically trade things that are in Vanguard's Total Stock Money Stock Market uh, Fund. 
All right, and here's your public service announcement. Please spread the, spread, spread the message, spread the love for me. It's time to make changes. All right, so to the south side. Now, as you can see, we are at, this is the middle of the trend, and that's where I bought in roughly. And now I sold out at resistance. To the south side takes us back down to 138. And if we get down there, I will be buying again. It's going to take a long time to get there, though. There will be a battle between the buyers and the sellers. 93 cents after that, and I'm going to stop there because I don't know that it's going to go down even more after that. But look at December 12th of 21, I tracked it at 58 cents. I mean, look at this downward dumping, okay? Look at that. 39.31. Look look at where we are now. A dollar 97. It's a joke. Many people got caught here and lost everything. So don't do that to yourself. Make sure you set your stop limits as well so that you can lose something versus everything. Now, to another trade I took that I got stopped out. I was busy, I wasn't around and it triggered on me and that's high tide but note really quickly on the daily we are overextended i will anticipate it it hasn't crested yet the rsi you'll see it when it does and then you can expect a pullback the pullback potential baseline trading sideways for a possible leg up according to the analysts don't expect something to continue to go up without taking a breather all right, let's go to high tide. I did not make as much on this one, but as you can see, I have sold this in the past, traded it many times, the pink lines down here. Okay, we're long gone from the $1.35 range. We ended the day at $1.96, up 4.26%. The day's low, 183. The day's high, 198. And it's a strong buy, one year price target, 426, which, which represents a 100, a 117% return on our money. Now, where is, I marked this out, but obviously it disappeared because this happens to me all the time on TradingView. It gets very wonky, Right here is where we ended for the day in the post after hours 193 but I'm just gonna mark it at 196 is that right that looks weird let me just remove this so I can see this better If you want to see the gaps, turn it to this. If you don't, move the candles to the other chart. All right. So 196 to the north side, resistance, resistance. 198, 201, 204, support, 193, 187, 184 and we're not going to get here in one day i don't think at 181 but if we get back down to this level back down to earth i will be redoing this again for a potential rinse and repeat so looking left support and a bounce sell off at resistance we're right there as you can see and the rsi is still turning down it has not corrected yet and that means to me that there's potential to keep going down here on a Wednesday. All right, resistance, support, resistance, sell off. Let me flip this to the daily and see what's going on. I usually don't do that anymore because I just give you easier price targets on the five minute time frame. All right, ignore the horizontal lines. The pink ones are my buy ones. But these lines are obvious old support and resistance and then price targets as well. So it gets kind of confusing. 
for someone who doesn't know what I'm doing on my charts. It looks like a hot mess, but I like it. Okay, oops. To the north side, from where we are on the daily, your potential to the north side, 208, 226, and a long ways out here, 243. All right, to the south side, back at the middle of the trend, I'm only going to give you that at 173. Oh, what the heck. Let's just give you one more. And that will take us to roughly 138. I did buy some a long time ago at 135. All right. RSI still not overextended. A little bit of room before we are overbought. And then you know what happens. Look left and you will see. All right. So I've traded this a couple times over here, as I see, 13%, a 6%, a 10%, and then today, oh, let me give you today's. I think today was 8%. Again, this one, just like the other one, risky, risky, risky. It will whip you around and body slam you and then shake all your money out. And so you've got to be very careful. So I bought in on this transaction at $1.79. And wait, today is the 26th. Just a minute here. I sold out at $1.95. So right here, roughly. Check that, I'm gonna double tap there, $1.95. I bought in at $1.70. Oh wait, did I make? Oh, I guess I made a 14% return. Oh wait, that's an, no. That's the wrong chart, it's this one. I've already traded that one and that one, and it's just this one at 179. That's a bummer, huh? So there we are. There we go. That looks more like it. 195. I bought in at 179. So that's a return of 8.93. And look at this. Right after we hit this line here, okay, we hit resistance. And what happens? Fall. We fall apart. Let me move this. That's getting wonky. So see that? We went up, went back down a little bit, went sideways, and then boom, back down to support. RSI turning down, so this will go down before it corrects again. That is a look at Sundial and High Tide. I'm also in MSOS for myself and for my mom. I'll check out Grow Generation, and there are a couple other ones as well.